Well, hey everybody, this is Yolanda. I know it looks like it's a bunch of stuff behind me. It actually is. So today we have Micah, the twin of Michi. And um, I did these little beauties. I'm getting ready to dress them. And I did their hair. I have the camera up close so you can get an up close look. And she has little beads in her hair. These, they're open and they snap on and it has like a little heart, a little flower, a little apple. And you know, to match her little bun up here, if you can see her bun um, with twisties in it. And she has twisties going around and they're single twisties, not like French braid twisties. And this is the thing. I did, let me turn her this way to sit up. I did her hair with this new braid express from Amazon where you put the hair, I can show you this thing here better. You put the hair in here and you use the two different modes to twist the hair and you get different designs and it shows you, you get 30 of the little beads and I believe that's the clear rubber bands right there that I use some in her hair. The clear rubber bands come with it. Um, it's it braids with two to three or four pins so you can do it with just two pieces of hair three pieces of hair or four i did um three and four for thickness and design then i don't want to get this in the way of what she's going to dress these are the colors I used. If you saw my last video, which you'll see meet you in a minute when I'm taking hers out, they're magnetic and you curl their hair on it and then you twist them closed like this and they stay. If you remember when I first got the girls, um, I'll show you. Their hair was straight. This has made the most beautiful banging curls. Very lovely. And they look so cute with the curls. Um, just like my Maddie. Um, and before I said she was 70 inches, she would have had to be really big. I meant centimeters. She is bigger than Michi. Um her head does you know drop a little more i'm gonna um try to um fix that but i kind of like it when i'm looking at them because they look so real so today she is going to wear some sophia the princess socks pink and yellow y'all know those are my colors and let me get this little um, tie thing off her sock if I possibly can. Let me use these clippers over here. Snip, snip. Because I don't want it poking her. Or me, for the matter. Um... I'm watching in the background Millie's Nephew Nursery. Um, you'll have to go over and see the title yourself because there's been videos going around about, you know, Lorna Mill Sands' work. Um, I am familiar with her as an artist. Um, I do love her work, but I have yet to purchase a baby from her because 
me personally, for right now, how I feel, I don't want to spend that much on a baby. I, I just don't. Um, I have in the past, and um, I just don't want to put that type of money out. Now, this is what Micah's going to wear. The yellow with the bow, because this is the biggest onesie I could find with our hot, hot heat. And by the way, before, what I was trying to tell you guys is this. This is a three to six month size. And it snaps in the back. And it has ruffles all the way around to match her yellow bows and beads and her little Sophia the Princess socks. What I was trying to say before in the video, I get so excited I ramble sometimes, it happens, is that a lot of these outfits that you see my babies wear, um, they came from a consignment store in Chicago. A good friend of mine, when I had gotten my baby girl, Carissa, um, she had her baby that looked like Carissa, and they were like cousins. Um, but through time and me getting sick and all of that stuff, um, we rarely talk. But when we do, it's good talks. And these are the sleeves. So, yeah. Let's lay this beauty down. She doesn't need her diaper changed. I just love these babies. Their little details are just so cute. And um, I'm doing this from the bottom. is not to mess up Missy's hair. Because it is big enough to do from the bottom. And it does have the bottom snaps. Um, turn up on her foot. It does have the bottom snaps. And um, she has some little thick legs too. And having them crossed is not helping. She is 70 centimeters. Um, she's a little bigger. She's about the size of almost going on one years old whereas Michi is about the size of going on uh, I would say about six months old um, the conversation in the video um, is about you know People, you know, coming out on artists on the platform instead of going to the artist. Or either they've gone to the artist and the artist hasn't said anything. Now, I'm guilty of it myself. So, but it does no good. Um, people, like she's saying, will still buy the babies from them, if not more. Um... It's just the way it is when you have babies. You know, you take chances sometimes getting some of these babies. And it's just the way it is. You know, some artists will take the babies back and either fix them or replace them. Or some will just say no and leave you stuck with that baby so let's see Micah let's snap you up beauty so you know like she's saying it's about keeping peace in the community and um the dolls are the artist's bread and butter as she puts it you know their way of making a living and um yeah Micah's a pretty big baby. And look at those curls. Is that not beautiful or what? Those curlers really do wonderful in their hair. I didn't know it was going to turn out this pretty. And then you can see the side. 
with the twisties. And then you can see the front of her hair with the twisties. And you can see how it looks with her little curls coming down and around her little earrings. And she just looks just as sweet as she wants to be. That is just beautiful to me. So I'm working on learning how to do little girl's hair. Now let's get this beauty in her little socks. Sophia the princess. And I think you can... I'm trying to be careful with my camera. I kind of broke the attachment and I jimmied it together. So, prayerfully it doesn't fall. If it does, this video is going to be stopped at that point. No that much. So, I am very... Um, I like pink, white, and gray together, and yellow, white, and gray together a lot. And these are so cute. You've got the little Sophia the Princess on her foot. And let me, yeah, fix that. Just love these babies. And then I'm gonna bring the silicone babies, you know, back out. It's just that. I had to go through my phase of loving these girls. And then she came with the turquoise shoes, so I kind of stole the white ones from her brother, hoping these can fit her feet. Because you guys know how I go with these shoes. Um, and I know you're saying, well, you should have tried it on before. Yeah, possibly, but sometimes... You get so caught up in trying to put together a outfit for these babies. You don't even think about that stuff until it's too late. And you just do the best you can. And um, this is what we're doing here. We're putting these little high top baby shoes on her. I call them like knockoff Converse because I have the original pink converse for my um ariana baby back there but she needs some paint work um don't know what happened i went to just wipe her off and the paint came off um don't know if it was environmental or it just wasn't sealed age or what but i found an artist that is going to fix that beauty for me so yeah um, gonna get these girls together here and when I say I am on the edge in my bed I'm really on the edge I don't know what's up with her um, she screams over here let me see this here because I'm kind of off today I just wasn't feeling well uh, for quite a few days I was in a pretty bad flare-up um, they are very painful um, you can barely move or anything so yeah you, you, you really <laughs> it really flares up on you that fibromyalgia so just gonna tie this shoe like this. I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with these laces. I'm gonna take my time and see if they're the same size. There we go. She's in her little white shoes with that. And she has her hair done with the curls and stuff. So now we got little Miss Micah done. We give her her little lovey bunny bun. <laughs> and we're going to sit this beauty back here and grab her sister Neat. Boy, yeah, she's a big girl. You, you, you kind of don't realize how big she is until you pick her up. 
Now, before I pick up Michi, I want to show you something. I have gotten these baby bottles. I haven't opened them. I got blue, the pink, and I got it in white. Um, they're already supposed to be sealed. We're going to open one. And um, I know a lot of you love this. Um, I'm looking at it and you can kind of tell it's not sure if it's fake formula, but it's already, they come sealed, as you can see. They come sealed. They don't have a top to cover, you know, the nipple, but these are the little bottles. And um, I do have some, um, that aren't open with the real simulac in them. So, yeah, aren't they cute? So I'm gonna faux feed some of my babies. As of course, these girls are too big for these bottles. And these are from, what is this? Um, I think Margie's Reborn off of Etsy. It says, from fully accessorized outfit sets to each accessory. Yeah, and Margie's Reborn, adding more beauty to an already beautiful art is our specialty. Thank you so much for your order. Please visit us again soon on M. And the card is very pretty. It's attached to the bottles on the outside. I'm not gonna open these two here. The, they're the same as the white one. They just have a pink and a blue um, ring. And, um, yeah, I just kind of, it was suggested to me in my Etsy. I guess it really knows me because I really do be working towards my goal. Not that I need any more bottles or anything, I think. Um maybe a few more pacifiers um or either just sit down and seal some bottles and pacifiers okay now let me screw over a little <clears throat> okay there we go make sure my heating pad is on because uh shoot it backache is really real now here's her bunny, her lovey. Oh, good Lord, you happy girl. Mm, love you so much. Okay, now you see Michi's hair. Um, we're fencing to undo her hair. So this is how they're twisted on. And it's not pulling her hair out either so there's no concerns or worries there you see the curl um the curl is that pretty or what and i'll put that with her sisters and as i go up you'll be able to see these curls are really pretty um these babies are very well rooted they have full heads of hair look at that curl I just really enjoy doing their hair and stuff. Um, but when I get sick, I just feel bad because, you know, they're just sitting here and I want to do a video, but I'm just not able to whenever I get sick. So, but, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It's how the illness is and that's how it goes it does what it wants when it wants especially when the air pressure um, changes and see there's the curl is that not pretty or what so we're gonna turn Michi a little ooh, ooh, this way okay you sit baby 
Other than that, we had a pretty bad storm here yesterday, and that even made things worse for me. I was really in pain, so um, and then right now we got Nanny's Reborn Nursery. Um, her baby, it says, is someone about to get a name change. So, you might want to go over and see that video. And that's Nanny's Reborn Nursery. It just came up. And there you go. So, we'll keep taking these out of Michi's hair until we are all done. And we'll fluff. And I, I'm just doing them before I dress them because the more they seem to move, the fluffier and the curls just fall natural. And I really like that because you can't put heat stuff on their hair. You want to style their hair, especially when you got babies with long hair. You know, because these girls got some pretty long hair. And, um... I wanted to style their hair. Um, I am just grateful that I found these rollers like this on Amazon. And I thought, hmm, I could, uh, you know, twist these in the girl's hair. They come pretty straight. Um, I can't remember how many in a pack, but I used about... 10 in each of their heads and there's a whole another pack that's not even open and um, I just wasn't you know picky I just picked some hair and um, see and I just that is so pretty As we would say, those curls are banging. And, uh, fix her little top because I want this to look right. And then here's Michi's curls. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that. That is just so pretty. And I love it. It's so little girlish. And now let's get this little beauty. Let's see. She's going to wear Monday socks because it was planned to do this Monday. But sometimes, unfortunately, we can't get to things when we need to. So we're going to still use these socks because we would have used them anyway. Um, you can tell it has the little butterfly Monday in the little ridges. So we're going to get her all hooked up here. Now, sometimes, you know, people have disagreements in the community. That's why I wished YouTube, I don't know if it has a messenger, but I wish it did so people could, you know, talk to each other on there. Now, Michi's going to wear this kind of Hawaiian looking onesie with the flowers. Okie dokie. That probably looked horrible on there, but anyway. She's going to wear this one. And it kind of matches her sister's, except for it has the flowers. And it has the little bow over here. And then the back is filled with little, um, I don't know what you call this, tool. Um, yeah, tool. 
So she gets the flowers with the pink and all the colors. And this outfit also came from that same consignment store up in um, Chicago. Um, my friend had a, we're gonna have to go from the top with this one. Um, from the consignment store. You can not have to take your passive for a second. But, yeah, um, let's set this beauty up. Let's see if we can get this done right without messing up that hair. Um, there's the opening. That is why Mama was way off. <laughs> Mama was way off. I just wasn't feeling it, you guys. And when I'm telling you that, hold on for a second. I got this stuff under me over here, remote control. I don't know how that goes. I don't know how that thing got that far down. I, I guess I'll see how I look in the video with a. I'm going to have to load it anyway, so y'all excuse me. Where is your armhole? There it is. The land of the lost. <laughs> you couldn't find that armhole. But yeah, um, I thank you guys for being so kind to me. And I'm very impressed um i have like um 779 um subscribers i don't mean to seem rough with her but i'm trying my best to get her head and arms in this onesie and as you know they don't move like real babies so yeah kind of makes it look a little awkward when we are doing it so i just and you look at the modeling in her arm it is just so beautiful it looks so real it, it just i don't know if you can see that that good her modeling in her arm it's not overdone it's not underdone it's like perfect like um real skin um somebody got their skills really down and uh yeah i made my baby's pretty heavy in here and she is just smiling look at her she is just smiling <laughs> that is too cute she is just smiling about it and um Say, I know I'm gonna look cute when my mama's done. <laughs> See how she moves? Like, she's so real. I just love it. Her little arms and stuff are all just <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I hope you can see that. But I'm all about this. We all love our dolls. No one's perfect. And, um, we, look at that. Look at how our arms are. That is so cute. That is so cute. Mm -hmm. And they wonder why I keep kissing on you because you're so cute. So, yeah, I just love her, and um, I think you can tell, I really think you can tell, I feel like I made a really good purchase with these babies, and I'm very grateful and appreciative, there's little Miss Michi, she's got to get her shoes on, I love that little cheeky smile, yeah, I love that cheeky smile. I'm gonna have to start making them some, um, let me lift this up slowly, some um, pacifiers to match their little outfits and stuff. I'll get around to that when I'm just sitting here doing, um, or just listening to something on um, my study 
Um, and now, little Miss Lucci, she gets the other pair of white shoes. Yeah, um, it's just, we really need to learn to work together because we all love the same thing, the babies. You know, um, it's, to me, it's not about who's got 400,000 subscribers or 10 million subscribers. It's about the love you bring to the community, the love you bring to me, the joy of showing your babies. And I actually, when I was down, took the time off and I'm um, gonna start patterning myself to do it often. You know, not making me no videos and taking time and enjoying your videos because I have a lot of people I am subscribed to. And I truly, truly enjoy their videos. So to take a break from your own to respectfully be able to watch and respond to others I, I, I think that would be a good habit to start because if they can take the time and the love and effort to watch yours why not watch their channel you know um, it, it, it does get a little hectic the more subscribers you get and I'm not going to lie but you find a way you, you find a way and I found a way by not making videos and taking my time and watching all of their videos because it's not all about me it's about the community it's about you know, letting people know, hey, you, you're over here, you're doing a good job. I, I really appreciate your videos, you know. And then, also when we see someone do something we've never done, it would be very nice, you know, to write that channel's name down. Um, give that individual credit you know for coming up with what is being done I don't know what's up with these shoestrings I didn't really try child but it, it would be really nice when you see someone do something new on their channel like for instance I haven't seen anyone curl their baby's hair with the braid express that I've used You'll have someone that'll come along, curl their baby's hair, you know, knowing that they've got more subscribers than you or whatever the case may be. And they'll act as if they're the first ones to ever use the Braid Express. That's not right. Um, what is right is you saying I saw this on this channel. You should go and check them out. That that's that's how you handle that. And you know what? Sometimes I think these don't have to be all the way at the top. That's what I'm learning. So, with that said, there's a few people out there, and I don't know if they're intentionally doing it. And, you know, but when you see someone doing something that you didn't think of yourself, give credit where credit is due. Don't try to sit there and make like you came up with the idea, you know, like you're the one that's not going to tie right. You're the one that came up with the idea. That's disrespectful and it's very rude because that's kind of like 
saying I came up with this. Like, for instance, I admit that I bought, you know, knockoff babies. I'm not trying to portray her as the real sculpt of Mila. I got her from AliExpress. You know, and here's her cute little outfit, by the way. She looks so cute in this little mama. And, um, what I'm saying is this here, um, when someone comes up with an idea, give that channel and that person credit. Now, right away, I want to straighten something out. The doll channel I had seen that made it easy for you to move your dolly's arms and it does take time is dolly happy too it's a mother and daughter channel very great channel love it and what they were using is gorilla glue and q-tips and going around the inside rings of the doll's limbs letting them dry overnight then putting the the tie bands in and it would make the she doesn't have it but for instance it would make the doll's arms easier to move because some of the sculpts they won't move right um because it it, it seems to make it so tight you can't move the baby's arm effortlessly but with what they learned to do which they had admitted they learned it from another channel how to do that so all i'm saying is give credit you know where credit is due don't slide somebody and it's sliding them and sit doing it and then never mentioning the person um that person may be watching your channel, but the person may be big enough to just overlook it and say, you know what, maybe they forgot. But when it's continuously done, you catch on, you know, and that's not right whatsoever. Um, people can say what they want. It, it's still the same thing. You know, um, and it's about character. That's what it's about. And it's about morals and values, you know. So, with that said, mm, don't even want to let her go. I am going to spritz her real fast with some of my favorite baby spray. Because I didn't put baby powder in them, but I might reopen them. Because I got so many of them and put the little baby powder up. Am I over spraying you, girl? Um, scent in them. But this, this baby powder, I got a lot more of it. I just put it in these little small bottles. It, it's The scent is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Now, since this baby is the smallest... We're gonna try to sit you here in the bobby. Come here, sweet pea. There we go. Let's sit you on the bobby. And then you look at the people. And the little curls come down. There you go, sweet pea. Now let's grab your little bunny bun. Your little love. <laughs> She's so cute with him. <laughs> Let me try this arm. Cause it seems so. Uh, there she goes. Cause I gotta grab her big sister who is heavy. Come here, good girl. Oops. Oopsie. There they go. The twins. Michi and Micah. Is that cute or what? I just love them and I enjoy them. And yes, yeah, she's on a bigger body. Um, she's quite noticeably bigger than Michi, and 
I love them both the same. They're just my girls and I just think they are just the sweetest. So, okay, um, one more thing. This is going to be a long video and I hope to goodness it loads. Okay, let's put juice and spray on because, say, Mama, it's not fair to spray Michi and not me, Micah. So you got to spray me too. Because when I pick them up, oh my goodness, this. I'm spraying their hair really too. It, it, they just smell so fantastic. With this, it's almost like a calming smell. Mm, it is just like a calming smell. It's some um, Johnson and Johnson's baby cologne, is what it is. And their little faces are so cute with their little eyebrows and stuff, and just. The little nail tips are done and they, they just look so well made. Well, let me do what I was going to do because I forgot the last time. Don't you want me to? And yeah, my babies, they sit there and I move them. hold up because say mama filled our heads too <laughs> that's probably why they just bop around in them curls is that jamming or what check these chicks out and i think you can no you can't um blow it up i always think you can do that for some reason um right here i have little mama and she's so darling. I probably should have did her own video. This is Olivia. Um, she's the Ashton Drake. She's the Gentle Touch. Um, I'm going to put batteries in her. I haven't as of yet. But she can grab a hold of your finger. And these are some of the first Ashton Drake babies I had bought over seven years ago. And I have another one brand new over there in the box. Bottom over, she has armatures, as their babies do, um, in both arms. And she has mechanics in her. She has a box in the back that you can open up and put her batteries in. Um, she has, um, her hair is, um, what was I going to say? Like, uh, <laughs> I get lost in words. Her hair is rooted. Um, I changed her hairstyle. I put the bow on and I snapped on the little teddy bear guy right here with the bow on him. And here's her paperwork right here for authenticity. She is the Olivia Scope by Ashton Drake. And she is very cuddly. She's the size of a newborn. And as you can see, her limbs move with great ease. I mean, just nothing at all. Um, she's very soft to the touch, very soft. And um, she has just a little weight to her, but I'm quite sure you put the batteries in, and she'll have more weight. I'm going to put her up close so you can see those big, beautiful blue eyes. She is a beauty. And um, I really love her. I just had her just sitting in the little baby crib out front in the living room and just was doing stuff and totally forgot about my baby. But, as usual, you guys, take care of yourselves. Um, stay safe. Um, 
and I'll show you this one more time from the girls here. This is called the Braid Express. Um, got it off of Amazon under $20 and I showed you this is how it looks. It's a machine and I should have opened it. It twirls the hair. This is how it looks. And you push these up at the bottom and you see the clip come up and you clip the end of the hair in there and you go about your business and you do two, three or four pieces of hair and you twist them and it's gonna just twist those pieces individually. Then you hit it bottom and it's gonna twist them all together into one. So that's how that goes and then you put the little rubber bands on and I think it's worth it. Saves the pain on the hands too of trying to braid hair. So with that said, I thank you guys for watching. I'm very grateful and appreciative. I've got a big mess to clean up, <laughs> but it was so worth it. I really enjoy you guys. I'm very grateful you do watch the um, show and I'm glad to have you here. Um, you take care of yourselves, like I said, because they're saying that there's monkey pox and then you got some other stuff coming. So yeah, um, you be blessed. And uh, take one of these and, and hold these together. That's what I'm doing. Um, so take care. This video is almost an hour. Um, I really enjoyed this. And like I said, go over to Manny's Reborn Nursery and check out, you know, her baby. She gave, you know, a little name change to. Um, I don't want to keep repeating myself because I think I'm doing that. Thank you for watching Yellow Rose Reborns of Texas. Thank you for your support. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and the bell so you can be notified of my newest videos coming up. We are at 779. I do want to hit the mark of 1,000, and that is when I am personally going to do a giveaway of my choice of babies because I found a really beautiful artist. So thank you, and you take care, and bye for now.